Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. You can look at your moon and rising signs. These messages might suit you better. Uh, this is also a timeless reading, so when you're drawn to it, it's when you're meant to hear it. And we have Yang. Yang. Now, this is an action card. It's a divine masculine card, and it means taking action. Taking action here. Spiritual growth. So you're on a spiritual path here. It's about understanding everything we're going through. We're gr you're growing as a spiritual person. Look for a sign. Now, this is the universe and spirit trying to connect in with you here. It can be repeating numbers, it can be symbols, it can be repeating songs on the radio, feathers, leaves. But spirit is trying to connect in with you because there's something here you need to take action on so that you can grow as a spiritual person. Now, let's see. Spirit, please show me clearly what this is about. King of Pentacles. King of Swords, very vibrational energy, very vibrational, high vibrational energy, sorry. The Temperance card, this is Sagittarius energy, Devil energy, Scorpio energy. The Moon, this is central energy for this reading. The Five of Swords, this has come up repeatedly in readings. The Ten of Wands. The Seven of Swords and the Four of Swords. Now, there's mental anxiety here. It's, this is mental energy. Um, there's been challenging times here, and it could be with a Capricorn or somebody with Capricorn in their chart, or this is you finding things challenging. Now, this could be toxic relationships, environments, bosses. It could be habits, the way you're doing things. It could be doubting yourself and your abilities here. But what Spirit's saying is there's something you need to take action over. Do not doubt yourself here because your challenges are coming to an end. Spirit's decided that this phase, the universe has decided that you've learned enough karmic lessons here. You've grown enough. You've gained enough knowledge um, with this situation that you're in that's challenging, that they're ready now. The challenges are going to end. They're wanting them to end. So you've gained a lot of knowledge. You're wiser than you were when you started off here. But the, what's happened here is there's something came to light that doesn't sit well with you. And I always say this could be trickery or unhandedness. This could be learning something about a personal environment, a situation that you really need to hear, but really didn't want to hear, if you like. Now, you're going to have to take a step back from this and you're going to have to recover from whatever this is. Uh, don't doubt your ability to be able to overcome this because you will, but you're definitely going to need a healing time. It's time to take a step back and reflect because we need to do something about this situation. We can't continue to be in this chained like situation, environment, relationship or doing things here that are not beneficial. So cycles of behavior as well that are holding you back. So you could be recovering from bad habits here. So it's time to pamper yourself. Time to take a step step back here. Reflect on what you've been through. He's been through battles. He's reflecting on it. And he's using his past experiences and deciding how he's going to go forward now from what he's learned here. So you need clarity and you need time. So be good to yourself. Pamper yourself at this time. Self-care is paramount at this time. But it's doing the brainstorming now. You need to brainstorm. You need to think about things because you're going to have to find a middle ground. You're going to have to change this cycle that you've been in, whatever this is for you, however it resonates, but there's changes that are going to have to be made. And that's part of taking action here. Now, it could involve compromises. It could feel as if it's a bittersweet victory here. One step back would take two steps forward, but you're prepared to take the knocks. You need to think about this, how you're going to go forward, and you need to make the necessary changes here so that you can move on to a more fruitful path. You'll put these challenges behind you through doing that, um, and you'll move away from this toxic energy or this chain-type situation, feeling, or habits that you've been adopting here, that you've been in, so that you can move on and bring in the change. Now, this can be difficult. This can be very difficult. You might not be seeing the way forward totally at this moment in time, 
Um, you might have been knocked sideways, you might not have seen this deception coming or this situation coming to light, however this sits with you. Um, but you need to, you might need to gather some information or get some advice here. Now this could be legal advice or professional advice of any kind. Um, this could also be you getting the clarity you need through listening to your intuition and taking the step back. You're starting to see clearer. And you can now talk about it. You can now communicate. You've got the clarity you need on how you're going to go forward. You can see the compromises. You see the middle road here. You're prepared to move on and change things. So you could be announcing this or you could just be seeing it for what it is. You're coming into this king energy, you see. So you are going to get the clarity. You are going to get the answers you're looking for. It could be, like I say, in the form of advice or enlightenment of some sort. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy here. Now, the changes are going to be good for you because it's going to balance things out and it's going to enable you to work on things, take action and work and commit yourself to better goals, goals that can bring stability into your life. Now, it's going to take commitment, it's going to take work, but things will work out in the end. You will find an emotionally stable place. You will find things will work out. You'll create better environments for yourself. If there's been any frustrations, and anger is all going to work out because you're walking away here. Uh, you're taking action over this situation. Um, great harmony and balance. You can create beautiful things in your life. You don't need to be stuck to something that doesn't work for you. And with work and commitment, you'll be able to sit back and create great stability for yourself and enjoy life. Enjoy your relationships, your environments, your home comforts, your financial situation. There's growth coming in here. It could be new jobs where you become boss type energies, anything. This this could be within your finances, your relationships, your environments or uh, your work. Anything that's tangible in your life. But if this is for you, you'll know what area I'm talking about. But you can grow on. You can go on by leaving this behind. You can go on to create a more well balanced situation all around in your life here if you're prepared to work on it and put the effort in here. Um, great things can come out of this. It's about making well-balanced decisions and weighing things up now, you see, about how you're going to go forward to bring the balance into your life. Head over heels decisions being made, compromises being found, moving on from these environments, people or situations. And your mental anxiety as well will end. Not only your challenges, but your mental anxiety. Everything you've been through, you've had enough now. This was the last straw. There's been a last straw being dealt. It's not about overthinking things. Don't go over it in your own mind. I know when these things are happening, like I say, it can be very difficult to see the way forward, but don't go over it and over it. Take a step back, reflect, pamper yourself, walk away, listen to your intuition. Spirit is guiding you here. Look for a sign. Spirit is connecting in with you to help you. They haven't forgotten about you. And you're going to have better times ahead. There's definitely better times ahead. You're going to want to celebrate, go out and have fun. Do something more prayerful here. Most definitely. Lightening the, the load completely here. Lightening the energies around you. Time. Time. The universe is helping you. Look for synchronistic events around you. And that's exactly, they're saying it again. They are supporting you. Friends. Friends. Spend more time with friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. And that's what this can be. Chatting to somebody who's got your best interests at heart that can see the situation more clearly than you do. But don't beat yourself up about this. Don't beat yourself up about this here, Capricorn, because this was part of your spiritual growth. This was all part of your spiritual journey. So be good to yourself. You did the best you could with the cards you've been dealt. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.